Benley roll-off trailers are manufactured in Romulus, Michigan, just three miles away from Detroit Metro Airport. This is our Super Mini trailer, the newest addition to the Benley family of trailers. The Super Mini is only 25 feet 11 inches long, but has a legal payload of approximately 35 to 40,000 pounds in most states. We always test our Super Minis with our favorite 54,000 pound test box, which is of course more than you could ever carry legally. While Benley trailers are some of the safest roll-off equipment on the road, any trailer could be dangerous if not operated properly. Be sure to complete all safety checks before every operation. Never operate any roll-off trailer or truck without prior safety training. Always operate roll-off trailers on level ground. Get out of the truck and look up and around to make sure there are no power lines or people around the trailer. Benley now mounts an electrocution warning sign at the controls of every trailer we make. If the trailer has a tarp system, illuminate the tarp lights before operating trailers in the dark. The tarp lights are positioned to illuminate the surroundings above and around the trailer. Never drive with the upper frame raised. Lower the upper frame completely before driving the vehicle. Benley now installs hoist-up warning lights, which will flash continuously until the operator has lowered the upper frame completely. These lights are positioned to flash within the view of the driver's side mirrors. Inspect wheel checks to ensure that no lug nuts are loose. When a lug nut is loose, the wheel check will not point directly towards that next lug nut. Check tire pressure. Check running lights. When facing the trailer controls, the left lever raises and lowers the upper frame. The middle lever extends and retracts the reeving cable. The right lever extends and retracts the stinger tail. To load the container onto the roll-off trailer, align the trailer frame with the container. Engage the trailer brake before exiting the truck. Do not engage the truck brake. Turn on the tarp lights if applicable. Look up and around the trailer to make sure there are no power lines in the vicinity. Pull the middle lever to extend the reeving cable. Unhook the reeving cable from the rear roller and hook it to the container. Pull the right lever to extend the stinger tail. Push the middle lever to retract the reeving cable and roll the container onto the upper frame. It may be necessary to lower the upper frame to allow the container to transfer easier from the stinger tail to the upper frame. It may also be necessary to release the trailer brakes by pushing in the brake release button while loading the container to allow the trailer to roll back and under the container. This button will only release the brake while the operator is pushing it. The brakes will automatically re-engage when the button is released. Warning: Use extreme caution when rolling the truck trailer back. Raise or lower the upper frame as necessary to keep the container aligned with the side rollers. To maintain a low center of gravity when the weight has transferred to the trailer, bring the upper frame down to within one foot of the lower frame. This allows the container to be pulled into the stops and the pop-up pin to be in the proper location when the upper frame is lowered to the down position. Push the right lever to retract the stinger tail. Make sure the stinger tail is fully retracted. Remove the ratchet from its holder. Place hold down hooks over the container long rails and tighten the straps to secure the load. Pressing buttons 1 and 2 at the same time turns the tarp lights on and off. Button 1 extends the tarp. Button 2 retracts the tarp. Button 3 raises the tarp mast. Button 4 lowers the tarp mast. Be sure to engage the PTO before operating the tarp system. Press buttons 1 and 2 at the same time to illuminate the tarp lights. Press button 1 and extend the tarp approximately 4 feet. Press button 3 to raise the tarp mast. Press button 1 to fully extend the tarp over the container. Press button 4 to lower the tarp mast. Press button 3 to raise the tarp mast. Press button 2 to fully retract the tarp. Press button 4 to lower the tarp mast. Press buttons 1 and 2 at the same time to turn off the tarp lights. Be sure to engage the trailer brake before exiting the truck to unload the trailer. Do not engage the truck brake. Before unloading the trailer, look in front of the truck to make sure there is nothing obstructing the truck's path. The truck will roll forward in the process of unloading the trailer. Turn on the tarp lights if applicable. Look up and around the trailer to make sure there are no power lines in the vicinity. Pull the left lever to roll the container off the upper frame 
until the box touches the ground. Pull the right lever to extend the stinger tail. Continue rolling the box off of the upper frame. It may be necessary to release the trailer brakes while unloading the container to allow the trailer to roll forward and out from under the container. Warning, use extreme caution when rolling the truck trailer forward. After rolling the container off of the upper frame, unhook the reeving cable from the container. Push the right lever to retract the stinger tail. Be sure to retract the stinger tail completely. Push the left lever to lower the hoist. Push the middle lever to retract the reeving cable and secure.